Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Resident Evil. I am so half asleep right now, I can't begin to tell you. Uh, so, anyway, I can't remember what we have to do exactly. Like, I can't remember what we did last. I remember we got the serum for Fuckface and then he just... He selfishly died before we could give it to him. We have a jewelry box we need to open in sunlight or something? We also have a wind crest. Uh, which I can't remember if that's for... I remember there's like a, a basement door in the main hall. It requires two cresty things. I actually don't think it's the wind crest. I think that's for something else entirely. I think you need like wind, earth, fire, water, like the four elements for a separate puzzle or something. We also have herbicide, which I don't think we use for a while. We also burn some zombies, but that seems like a whole lot of work. And we have the armor key, I think. We have the emblem that we can use on blue gem. I, uh, so I think possibly we have to find some more, um, some more armor key doors. If only we knew where they were. If only. What I will probably do for the YouTube people is I'll probably cut out uh, the beginning here, like, after this. Until we actually figure out where to go. Unless I can figure out where to go pretty quickly. Alright, map. This is not the kitchen at all. Uh, have we maybe missed something in this room? Because I remember coming in here and I don't think we could... Yeah, there's... I mean, there's ink ribbons right there. It's, it's... We'll take them whilst we're here. This is Progressu. I know you have to play this piano at some point, right? Isn't this the Moonlit Sonata? Wait, what the hell is this? Wait, what? <gasps> oh, I found a secret door I have, or something. I don't know. Will you take the musical score? Is this Moonlit Sonata or Moonlight Sonata? I can't remember how the hell you say it. Examine. Open Sesame. A section of the music is missing, leaving only the beginning and the end of the music. Missing music. Oh, uh, okay, so I think this is one of those things they changed in the remake. I think you just originally needed the music sheet, but now I think there's like two sections of it. And then you come back on that and you can like jam on that piano, and I think it opens this wall, something like that. A wooden counter made of oak, it gives off a pleasant aroma like fine wine. Okay, well, I mean, that's something. It's not that helpful to us right now, but it's something. Something is better than nothing. He said light. Wait, is that where we can open the music box? Right, hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. Music box, music sheet. It's all, it's all coming together. American English is ghetto English. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Maybe not all the time, but sometimes. Hang on a moment. I'm checking over here for a second. I mean, this is light, but is that get like? Can I open the music box there or? I mean, it's artificial light, right? Maybe that'll work. I, I, I somehow doubt it. I don't know. Watching on source without any issues. There you go. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, Tommy. I don't know what to tell you, man. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the kitchen. Okay. So hopefully this is where we can use the blasted thing. There's an elevator here. It doesn't look like an exit from this floor. Oh, no. Didn't we leave a zombie down here? That's right. It was Grandpa. I remember Grandpa's down here. So. We got to, uh... Got to duck and dive and bob and weave around Grandpa. Stay there, Gramps. Fucking hell. Okay, I don't know where the hell... Grandpa, bugger off. I don't know where the hell we use this key, man. I'm pretty sure it's not for this elevator. I think we just need to power it, but let me check anyway. Whilst we're here. You know, when in Rome. Yeah, no, we need power for that. So what the crap, Grandpa, no! Okay, that was close. That was really close. Hmm. Okay, let's... Let's evaluate the map situation. Because I don't think we have any objects we can use right now. You know what I mean? Like, for puzzles and things. So... I'm thinking we need to go to the... The chest save room situation on the right over here. And then it's going to be one of these doors. So how do we get there? We have to go all the way through... The main hall door downstairs. Okay. It's not that far. It's a bit of a trek, but it's not that far. Welcome to Resident Evil. This will happen in this blasted mansion. I get lost all of the fucking time. I mean, you know how bad my sense of direction is, so you couple that with the fact that this is just confusing on top of that, and would confuse someone who didn't have a bad sense of direction. So it's just like a really bad combination. But damn it if it's not fun. Okay, you can't see the, uh, the Uplay... The Uplay notifications. Good. I am glad. 
I wonder if uh, Barry's back here. Nope, no Barry. Screw you, Barry. You said to meet back in the main hall. You've only done it once. All right, I think... Yes, yeah, so the one next to me is a helmet key. So let's try going this way and see. It's got to be this side, right? I think we've been everywhere else, pretty much. Didn't I lock this dude in here? Yeah, I did. Suck it. Zero Sparky, thank you so much for the 100 bits. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing, Zero? Is the controller layout the same as the original? Um, I think so, yeah. Other than the fact that it's not like really tank control. God damn it, this camera angle. It's not really tank controls, it's like eight way movement. So you can use an analog stick and it's like very swish. But apart from that, I think it's the same. I may be wrong. I think you can rebind the keys. You wonder what went through the dev developer's mind. Let's make a huge mansion and then lock almost all the important doors and make the player solve absurd riddles. I know, but I love it. Oh, those are zombies, okay. Hello, gentlemen. A wiki wow, wiki wiki wow, wiki wow, West Jim, West Desperado. Oh my god, say goodbye to your head. Hi, right, demon. Woo! Okay, I whiffed that one, I was trying to headshot him. Back up, Jill. We can't have you, the master of unlocking, dying. Oh, it's him. Damn it. Oh god, no, it's not him! Stab him! See ya, sucker. I'm a sucker like I said, fucked up in the head. No, shoot this man. Down I go. How many fucking zombies, man? You know, must reload. One for you. Alright, I think we took them all out. Jesus. That was scary. Okay, can we open any of these doors? Uh, no, they're all unlocked. Fine, I see how it is. What about this one? Why is this one, um... Oh, that's because that's where the shotgun was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we can't go back in there. Yeah, as much as it's, like, ridiculous, I kind of love it. You're good? How about you? I'm okay. I'm just, like, really half asleep. Like... I feel like I'm out of it right now. Okay, so there's two doors in this room that are locked. Please be one of these blasted doors that we use the key on. It's locked. The Spencer family ember is coming to the door room. Um, I feel like that has something to do with the music box. Fuck yeah, we use the armor key about time. Ah, oh, god damn time. Oh, this is a puzzle. The title is written as follows. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. What? I'm gonna do what now? Oh, this is a new puzzle. Okay, so it's a color-coded thing, I think. See that crow? Look at his eyes. How creepy is that? Who's a creepy crow? Yes, you are. Ah, ah. Okay, so where's my clue? Apart from that. Light of truth to three spirits. Lisa, protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet. Oh, green, purple, red. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. Green, purple, red. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. No. Picture of a valiant wearing a bracelet. It's set in yellow. Ah, so the bracelet has to be red. Yes. Turn red, bracelet man. What? 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 But red. But, but red. With three spirits wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. The bracelet is red. How do I... What? Uh, okay, I get, hmm, okay, that's confusing. All right, what's this one? A picture of a sage wearing a necklace. Uh, her necklace is purple. I'm guessing we can't make this purple. Oh, we can. What? 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 Okay, hang on. Now I'm really confused. A saint wearing a crown. The crown was green, right? There you go. Okay, so that's, but then, oh, do I change the one on the other side? Oh, I bet that does it. Oh, that's clever. It's like, I bet this will make it go, um... Yeah, it's white now. So, leave that white, and then if I press it again, it will probably go red on the other side. Because it's like, you know, the two colors are combining. Something like that. That's kind of clever. It's kind of clever. Alright, do it. Fuck yeah! Alright, so I think we've got it now. 
I feel so smart. Oh my god, so much text. I'm the mist! Around. Oh, it's gonna be one of those masks for that, uh, you remember we found the coffin, it's like, here, no evil, see no evil, whatever, no evil. The death mask. I get. Why's there a gate here? You use the lockpick. No oh man, I got it. I'm a master. Not only a master of unlocking, but also a master of puzzles. We always well go chuck it down here right now, I suppose, because this is where we use it, isn't it? I think. I believe so. Creepy. There's also Ghetto Talk, which is American English's special cousin. There's chavs. Chavs are the worst. Examine. It's a death mask without a mouth. Alright, we shove you into no mouth, I guess. Are you no mouth? You look like no mouth. Oh no, you're everything. Okay, so you're no mouth. Yep. Ah, ah. Here we go. Lovely. Bleeding. So, that was cool and all, but that doesn't help us progress. Uh, I mean, t you know, right now, immediately. No immediate progress. So let's go back through the gate that we just opened, which I think was over here. Yes. Let's go back in here. Let's go, uh... Okay, so we got the music box. And again, I seem to have a faint memory that that door where it says, like, blah blah blah, the, the crest of the family or whatever, I feel like that there's something... I'm surprised they haven't attacked me. I feel like that has something to do with the music box. It might be that we can open it on the door, or it might be that when it's open, we get a crest from that that we use on the door. I think it's the second one. So, clearly there's somewhere else we can use the armor key. We know that, because, quite literally, we still have the armor key. So, let's try this door over here. I kind of doubt it, though. I doubt two of them will be that close together, but you never know. Canadian English, American English, more sophisticated older brother. I mean, if you say so. Hey. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? What was that? Oh, that's right. We need something for this. Holy shit! Well, I'm about to take damage. The father of the cursed coffin. Oh, that's right. We need... Ah! Fuck out of here! Got my goddamn arm, you dick! Jesus. Ah! Bad dog! My god. It was bloody terrifying. Yeah, either way, we can't do that right now. We need to, uh... Oh, that was, that was scary. We need to, um... Like, it jump scared me. Anyway, uh... That's, like, throwing me completely off. Yeah, we, we need to come back after we do the coffin. So, okay, let's look at the map. We've checked the entire first floor right side. And we checked... There's one door there. Oh! That's a door at the top of the stairs. You remember, um, this room here. This room here. You remember there was, uh, this was the room with the, the man that was poisoned by the snake. He was laying about here-ish, I think? Or here-ish? He's in this room somewhere, or at least around there. Why is this room in red, by the way? What does that, that mean? Because, what does that mean? Does that mean there's an item or something I'm missing? I don't know what red means. I honestly don't know. Because uh, we've been in there. Anyway, uh, there was a door here at the top of these stairs, which I think leads to the attic where the snake is. Uh, so maybe that one, possibly? I can't remember what it said it was locked by, but I th I think that's going to be our best guess. So let's head back to the main hall, go upstairs. Jason, will you be doing RE4? Probably not. Uh, I bought Resident Evil 0 for quite cheap, uh, and I'll probably do that after we finish Resident Evil 1. Because I've never played 0, so I'd like to play that after we finish number 1. Australian English, the other version, don't talk about that one. Apparently that's my version, even though I'm not Australian. But I kind of hear it. In my, I mean, I did it intentionally there. But I kind of hear it in my voice sometimes. Red means you've not collected all items. Ah, oh, okay. That's what I figured. Oh, it says it in the top right of the map. Wait, there's a legend on this bloody map? Oh, it does! Wow. you think I would have read that, but nope. Cool, okay. That's actually very handy. That's a handy map feature. I'm surprised they put that in the game, considering they don't tell you which bloody doors are locked by what. I wish that was a feature. We'd be a lot less lost. Stay there, Zombo. Stay there. 
Yeah, let's try heading to uh, that room. See, I can't remember if we got the, the armor key after we found the poison man. I think we did, right? I think. I actually don't remember. I wish my memory was better. Okay, so we want to go... Um, yes, this way and then on the right. Okay, it's actually very close. It's basically like two rooms away. One of my dreams is to own a giant mansion with Resident Evil puzzles in it. Fuck yeah, dude. And then you could charge people to do them. It'd be basically like, um... What do they call it? There's like a thing you can do in real life like that. Why can't I remember what it's called? It's like a thing people pay for. They go in groups. They do it. They like solve puzzles and things. Escape room. Thank you. Yeah. It'd be like an escape room. Hey, uh, Zombo. Rich is already dead. What tried your favor for such a close friend? Is this guy alive? Oh, this Zombo is alive, friends. Holy shit! Holy shit! I'm the greatest. Did you see that fucking dodging? Did you see that dodging? Alright, Rich, calm down. Okay, map. Yeah, straight ahead, and then we'll see if that door can open. Yeah, escape room. I'd love to have a Resident Evil escape room. Does such a thing exist? I feel like it should. It seems like something they would have built. The fact that all these dudes are coming back to life right now leads me to believe maybe we are going the right way. Zama! Zama! Jesus Christ. Fucking really? Good lord, sir. Good lord. It's locked. Emblem of a fucking shield! Ah! Okay, so... Shield. We are missing something in this room, so let's go grab whatever it is. It's probably just, um... Probably just, uh... Just, uh... Like a... Oh, we, this is where we needed the fucking lighter! Okay, we gotta come back here with the lighter. God damn it. Okay, no one let me forget. We can get here quickly. Reasonably quickly. But no one let me, let me forget where we're going. Everyone remember, it's this room right here. We need the lighter. So we need to go downstairs and go to the bloody chest and get the lighter out. Uh, see, this would have been a good time to come and burn these bodies. Since we will be carrying the lighter anyway, we could just pick up the fuel and burn the... But they're already dead because I had to murder them, so... Don't really need to bring the fuel here. How is our health? Not very good, so we're going to heal up at the chest as well. There is indeed a Resident Evil escape room. There are several, apparently. Yep. I, I'm not surprised at all. But when you say a Resident Evil escape room, have they actually rebuilt the mansion? Like, I doubt it, right? Because the mansion is fucking huge, and that would probably cost millions. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, a full-on replica of the mansion. That would be great. The problem is, if you had the exact same puzzles, most people, well, at least if you were familiar with the mansion, you'd probably know how to solve it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but it'd be good for people that didn't. So, we are downstairs. We need to go to that chest. So we go to go through here and go all the way around. Hope there's no more zombies to, uh, give me hassle. Bring me joy in my heart, I pray. Bring me joy in my heart, and something, 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 and joy until the end of days. Man, when I was a kid, in, uh, what we call primary school, I think it was a really religious school, because, man, I remember singing so many songs like that, like, he's got the whole world in his hands, all that shit. Uh, Cucumber, my lord, which was Kumbaya, my lord, but everyone sung Cucumber, my lord, because that was funnier. I don't think any of us took religion that seriously. I would pay a lot of money to visit that place, me too. Me too. Well, I don't know about a lot of money, because I'm poor, but if I weren't... Oh, this guy's alive. Motherfucker! Run away! I want no trouble, Mr. Crimson Head. Man, the Crimson Heads are just like popping up left, right, and center now. It's almost like I should have been burning bodies. I just have been neglecting that duty. It's almost like that. But you know what? I too like to di live dangerously, baby. Uh, we have gone past the save room. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. Well, hang on a minute. Isn't this door not broken or some shit? Oh, it is, but we can't go back the other way. That's right. I remember. Maybe I should burn those bodies. It seems like an awful lot of work, though. Either way. So we need lighter. We need healing. And we probably should reload our shotgun if we have any shells. But I think we might be out of shells. Let's have a look, shall we? Put this away for now. I have the lighter!
I want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Ah! Uh, I didn't realize I was carrying it the whole freaking time. God damn it. Ah, uh, I should just check it. Why was I carrying it anyway? Why did I pick it up? Maybe I did that with the intention of going there and then just no. I don't know. Oh, that sucks. All right, anyway, do we have any shotgun shells? No, I don't think we do. Bollocks. Really could use some of those. We want to carry the grenade launcher instead then. If we're going to be fighting Snake Man soon, which I feel like we are. Let's put the shotgun away for now. We have nothing in it. Uh, incendiary? Yeah, I think it has acid rounds in it. Let's check. No, grenade rounds. Uh, grenade rounds are probably better for now. My mind's been blown. And not in the good way. So now we have the question, do we want to save? Do we want to take the jewelry box with us in case we can... Yep. Womp womp. I'm sure... I'm sure there's like a switch on this or something. Oh. <laughs> Sun and the moon on the plate. It says sunshine will awaken me. So... What the... Is if you failed. Oh, is this like a combination lock? Hang on a minute. Sunshine will awaken me. What? What? Wait a minute. Here, what? I see there's different symbols, right? Like that one looks like half of a heart. Like the red part. That one's like a thing. And that one's like a teardrop. So like teardrop thing and half of a heart. Uh, so thing is on the moon. There's two things on the moon, and then there's half of a heart on the sun. So do I? What? What? Oh, maybe. Oh, hang on. Maybe these are just the two halves of the thing. Okay, so let's try doing that, and then this one. Um, is this it? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, it doesn't really matter because we couldn't have done anything with this immediately right now, anyway. Because we need to. Uh, put all four of them in that thing to do the whole coffin situation. So, that's cool. It doesn't matter that we took a while to do that, because it's fine. Anyway, I'm going to actually say we have a lot of, um, what up, Vulpix? We have a lot of ink ribbons, and I actually feel like we may be at risk of death. Because there's a lot of Crimson Heads running around, and we probably got to fight a giant snake soon. At least I think so. I just put the lighter away. I'm taking it out right now before I save, because I will fucking forget. And that would just be the worst. I went there with the lighter, didn't realize I had the lighter, and then if I go back without the lighter, like, just, just fire me. Just fire me right now. Boop. It appears... It appeared out of nowhere. Wait, what appeared out of nowhere? What are we talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? No, don't put the... Stop it! Brain, stop it! Brain's like, put the lighter away. No, Brain. Stop trolling me. Anyway, we can't go back through the door we just went through because the doorknob's broken, if I remember correctly. It's a one-way door now. As ridiculous of a notion as that is, because obviously in real life you would just not shut the fucking door fully, and then you'd be- oh, you'd break it down or something, you know? But Jill? Jill is in a word, a lemon, which means an idiot. She's not smart. Well, so apparently we missed something in this room over here as well. Let's go have a look. You're making a pot pie right now. What kind of pot pie? Or are they always chicken? We don't have pot pies in our country. We have, we just have pies. But what does the pot part of pot pie mean? Do you make it in a pot? Is that, how, is that how you cook it or something? Anyway, we're missing something in this room. Map. Yes. There's something we are missing. But what? But what? Ah, camera. Ah. Ah. An old fashioned gramophone. The record is Jupiter. An open journal. The pages are blank. Oh. Botany! It is a well-known fact that there exist many plants that are created with medicinal healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will sample three herbs that are a native of the Arclay Mountains and briefly outline each of their alrights. This is going to be like the green herb recovers physical strength, uh, red herb, blah, 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 and then uh, the blue herb uh, cures poison. That's why we haven't got any yet, because we haven't needed them. Except, uh, I think the snake can poison you. I think you can drink the serum. Yeah, I think that's the way it works. I think if you if you have the serum on you, you can cure the snake's poison with the serum. 
Why did I go? What am I doing? Where am I going? We should check that door over there. Or did we already check? No, we did check that door. Did we check that door? I don't think we checked that door. No, we haven't checked that door. Let's go check that door. Don't you open that trap door? I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, anyway, um, and if you don't have the serum on you because, you know, you didn't pick it up or you gave it to What's-His-Face to actually save his life, unlike us, I think you can then go back to where you get the serum for him and then I think you can... Oh, bollocks. An emblem of a helmet, okay. Everyone remember that, because I won't. Um, then I think you can go back to the shelves where you got the serum for him and then you can get some for yourself. I think something like that, maybe, I don't remember, because, like I said, we don't have any way of curing poison right now. So I think that's how you do it, maybe, I don't bloody know. Anyway, so we gotta go back to where we need to use the lighter, which was this room here. Which we are theoretically close to. Actually. Actually. Man. We go straight ahead. Boop. Alright. Yes, it's in a crock pot. Oh, I don't have a crock pot. I've actually never seen a crock pot in real life. The only, t actually, the first time I ever saw a crockpot in any regard was um, in Don't Starve. And let me tell you, when you don't know what a crockpot is and you're playing Don't Starve, you're like, what the hell do I do with this thing? And it's like, oh, you just chuck shit in there and just combine it. Map. I've gone past the blasted door. But at least I checked. Okay. We're almost there. It's not that far away. Crockpot is just another word for, for a slow cooker. Oh. Well, I still, I don't have one. Here's the point. And there's... What's his face? We go through here and there's a room on the left. Okay. We have the lighter. I hope. Do you use biscuits? Oh, you mean like American biscuits. No hobnobs or uh, custard creams. That would be pretty gross in a, in a chicken pie. But I'd try it. Okay, so we go light the candles. Are you alive? You aren't. Fantastic. Should have burned you whilst I was here. Beautiful. This might not even help us that much. This might just be like some optional jank. We would take them. Oh. Oh. These are the missing pages. Beginning in the last sections of the music are missing. Well, how convenient that I found it. Why can I open it if it doesn't do anything? Okay. That's weird. Uh, there was also another thing. This. Are you, st you, you still dead? He's still dead. Sweet. Shelves are lined with wine glasses. This wine glass looks important, but I guess it's not. Anything else in this room? Anything at all? Me old ma- ah. What about this one? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Okay, so I think we've got everything in here. I guess we can check the map, can't we? Yes. Fantastic. So, now I'm guessing we need to do the whole Moonlit Sonata thing, because... I don't know where else to go. So now I need to go back to the chest and get out the musical notes. So that's a pain in the ass. Don't be as humble. I wonder if we can burn the bodies of our comrades. I don't think you can. I think if they're going to come back to life, they're just going to come back to life. This fella, I don't think he does. Maybe he does. I don't remember, but I don't think he does. Is he alive? No, he's definitely not alive. You saw the Freddie Mercury movie yesterday. How was it? Oh, I finally spoke to my mother about that. She said she liked it. It was about all she said. I was like, wow, it must have been thrilling. Uh, we need a chest again. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. You go back this way, I think. This is confusing mention. You want s'mores. So someone explain to me what a s'more is, because I don't know. I have no concept for what a s'more actually is. I think it's some kind of alcohol-based thing, maybe? It sounds like it, right? Like, even if it's not, you gotta admit, it sounds like alcohol. They really didn't go into his sexuality. I mean... I don't want to say it's not important, but like... It's obviously... So, around the time of Queen and Freddie Mercury and all that, obviously his sexuality was important, because like, coming out of the closet, as it were, back in those days was... Really taboo. In these days, most people are just like, eh, I don't give a shit. Like, I couldn't give a shit, personally, so... 
Yeah. I guess by today's standards, it's really not that important. It's like, hey, I'm gay. Like, oh, cool. Uh, music missing, which is good. It's, it's progress. I mean, there's still obviously like some fucking terrible individuals that are like, hey, you're a fucking homosexual. That's all I get, by the way. Like when, um, when I play Rainbow Six and when someone's like being a dick, there's two insults they have. One of them is you're gay and the other one is the N-word. And I'm like, well, I've never sucked a dick in my life and I'm pretty sure I'm the whitest man on earth, so... No? To both of these things? Like, I, I don't know where you going with this. Like, if you're gonna try an insult, like... Pick something that's actually true, otherwise it's not an insult, you know what I mean? Like, I've always said this, like... Gay is an insult doesn't make any sense to me, because... If someone's gay and you're calling them gay, they're gonna be like... Yeah? I, I suck dick, what's your point? And if someone's not gay, they're gonna be like, well, no, I'm not. So what's your point? Like, it's, just, it's completely redundant to call someone... Like, to state a fact as an insult, you know what I mean? Like... Hey, you're gay. Yeah. Or hey, you're gay. No. Like, it just it just doesn't make sense. It's just... Ugh. Then again, people that, you know, people that say things like that, they don't make sense. Alright, so we need to use Moonlit Sonata. Where the hell was the room where we found that we have to use it? I think it was... Bottom left of the main hall, right? I think. Yeah, no you. <laughs> Basically. Basically the equivalent of that. Marshmallow crackers chocolate. Oh, so not alcoholic in the least. Interesting. Must be an American thing. Because I've never heard uh, English slash British British people ever mention spores. S'mores, not spores. Spores are different. Well, I mean, they're not, they, they don't know like I'm a streamer or anything like that. I mean, why would they? It, as far as they know, I'm just a dude playing a video game, which is literally what I am. Um... But it's like, you know, one of them will be a dick, and my retort will be like, grow the fuck up, and then it'll be like, shut up, you n-word, and I'm like, do I sound black? Because I don't think I do. Like, as well as the fact that you're being a horrible racist, like, it's just factually incorrect. Like, it just, I'm not black, my dude, I'm not black. Like, I've had people call me, um, an Asian, an Asian n-word as well, like, combining the two, I'm like, what? What? Do I sound Asian now? Like, I don't get it. Alright, so... How do we use the music? Good question. Oh, like that. This is Moonlight Sonata. Or Moonlit Sonata, I forget. Don't ask me why or how she can play this. Oh. Again, why? People are just dumb. Jason's obviously French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Regard la placard. So Billy said light again. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't get Billy. I don't get it. Oh, hey, look at Crest. Trevor's Diary. Classic name, Trevor. 11 days of... This is from 1967. This game's set in 1998. This was 31 bloody years ago. Jesus, Trevor. 11 days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when he hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, so Spencer and myself. It's called the Spencer, 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 Spencer Mansion. If they kill me, so Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family? I hope they are all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica? Lisa? I pray that you are safe. Lisa. We saw the name Lisa, didn't we? How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. The date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, Most likely your family is already... I pray for their safety. Somehow I managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be easy. Uh, I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. <laughs> uh, Self-referential video gamey stuff. 
Okay, uh, let's go get the emblem, because I'm pretty sure that's a bloody trap, and if we, like, yoink that thing out and don't replace it with the other emblem, we'll get fucked. So, we're gonna go back and get the emblem now. And this is what happens when you don't know what you need when you need it. You constantly have to go back and forth between a bloody chest. Uh, there is a chest over this side of the mansion, but I don't know that we can reach that from here. Yeah, we gotta go from the top floor. It's gonna be easier to go from the one in the main hall. On the right, as it were. We should burn this fella on the way back. We've passed him so many times. We're probably going to come back through this corridor at least once or twice. I don't want him to crimson head me in this tight corridor. So, we're going to burn the fucker. Bonk. And I think when we put the emblem that we get in here, I think this clock moves. Because you see, the clock looks suspicious. You see the way it just like doesn't quite look the same as everything else? You notice that in video games, like things that move and can be interacted with and broken... They usually have a bit of, like, a, a sheen on them. For some reason, they look brighter than everything else. Moonless Sonata, that's why you're saying, like, Oh, okay, I gotcha, Billy, I gotcha. I understand. Wink, wink. I'm tapping my nose. Mum's the word. Etc. Moonlit Sonata. It's moonlit. Moonlit is light. That's what it means. Oh, that's him squelching around. I was like, what's that noise? Why don't they just burn the place down? That'd have to be a hell of a fire. You'll find out the secrets of the mansion. Oh, you will find out. It's not a mansion at all. No, it is a mansion. Quite clearly. But why is it here? What is it hiding? What secrets are they held with it? Am I going the right way? I hope so. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, Jesus Christ, run away. Oh, God, zombies. Zombies. In your head, in your head. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna die. Okay, I don't know that we're going the right way. Let me check the map for a moment. That was fucking terrifying. We are going the right way, but now there's fucking crimson heads, and I'm on caution. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. This is bad. I should really go back for, like, healing on, but they're in the chest, so, you know. No! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're alive. Okay, hang on. This is what this is for. Fucking what? Okay, he's alive. Okay, I, I wasted one of them? But we're alive. You know? Oh god. He's to zombie too. Ah, son of a bitch. You're gonna just take him out now. Get to the job now. Alright, where was the fourth one? Because there were four, right? I don't know, let's just leave. Nope. Nope. I'm pulling out the big guns. I'd rather waste my grenade ammo than die. And and in that case, is it really a waste? I mean I wind it for the snake, I'll be honest with you. But we do have more that we can use on the snake. We've got some shotgun shells as well. I think we'll be okay against snake bunny. Relatively speaking. Uh, you want to go down this way. Please, no more zombies. And we should bring the fire so we can burn that man. And by fire, I mean the fuel. And the lighter again. Okay. Go, 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 go. We lived. Suck it. Time for our first aid spray. This mansion was made by a dog. Yep, that's the secret. You got it. Gimme, gimme. I love imagining the character using the first aid spray, just using it like deodorant, just like... Tss, tss, ah, much healthier. All right. So, let us assume we're going to need that. And the lighter. And I forget what the other thing was that we came back for. What did we come back for, people? I don't remember. We came back for something specifically. Oh, the emblem. That's right, the emblem. Uh, and then we've got one more space. Let's be smart about this. Put the incendiary shells in here. And then get rid of that. Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes, maybe? Yes? Can we use another save ribbon thingy here? No, I don't think, I don't think we need to. No, I think we'll be fine. I'm going to regret this decision, aren't I? Say so these are spark, you have a good night, dude. But upstairs route instead. I mean, I probably should. Kinda have to now anyway. Bum 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 snake. Okay. 
We got this shit. Now, how do we get back? I think we just... Well, yeah, yeah, well... Okay, did I bring the fuel? Yes. Yes, I did. I love the music in this game. It's so creepy. Oh. Ah, some of all right, back in the main hall, and now where do we need to go? The emblem, which was... I remember. I remember. Down here on the left. Ah, hello. But yes, anyway, uh, we'll play Red Dead tomorrow, probably. I mean, believe me, I'm still enjoying the shower Red Dead. It's just, just frustrating at times, that's all. I just, I'm on a Resident Evil kick, that's all. Like, I really wanted to play this yesterday, but I was... Way too tired. I went right back to sleep. Best decision I've ever made. Okay, he's not alive yet. Let's just burn this bastard. Take that, demon! Run away! I don't know if it will, like, actually burn him if we leave before it finishes the whole burning thing, so, yeah, I was gonna say, let's wait for him to be deep fried. What was in here, wasn't it? I believe so. But yeah, like I said, I think this is a... I think this is a trap. I feel like it's a trap. Like if we don't, well maybe, I think it just closes the door behind you. I don't think it kills you or anything, but yeah, either way, you need the, the other emblem. Will you take the gold emblem? What'd I say? What did I say? I remembered something. Let me put the shit emblem in here. Go shit emblem, do my bidding. All right, so now I think we just take it back to the main hall. Uh, it seems a little basic, though. I feel like maybe there's, like, a third emblem in this game. Maybe I'm imagining that. I don't remember a third one. It just seems like there would be. It seems like there would be some trickery going on with this. But who knows? Well, what do you know? He's gone now. Suck it. What about, uh, whoever this fella is? You, you okay there, buddy? I can't interact with him anymore. Oh, no, I can. It's Kenny. Can we burn Kenny? Let's try Nope. Cannot burn Kenny. Fair enough, Kenny. Fair enough. That either means he has to come back, or that means he won't come back. I don't think he does. I don't remember him coming back from the dead. But, uh, wouldn't surprise me either way. Look at those fire effects. This is actually pretty good. I was close. Do we need to, like, put a cog in there or something? Hang on a minute. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Ah! I get it! Okay, so... Basically, the long sword in the picture is the long hand, the short sword is the short hand. So... One's wearing red, one's wearing green. So, big sword is red... Little sword is green. I think that's probably the answer. No, yeah, I clicked on it twice. Stop it. Yeah, let's just put the little one to the green. Let's see if that works, because the big one's already on red. I will turn the small one. Turn it to the left. The small one affects the big hand? That's just confusing. That is just confusing. You turn the big one to the left. And then turn the big one to the left. No. I'm the greatest. Bong. Bong. Alright, what's that do? Okay, it does move. What is that? It's a key. What kind of key? We got the armor key! Uh, the shield key, sorry. I don't know where we use that. So, I remember this one is a helmet. I remember seeing a shield... A shield key... Does anyone remember where we saw the shield key? Like, where we needed it? Damn, I wish I could remember. You know what? I'm just going to cheat. I'm just going to look it up, just to save time. I'm just going to bring up a uh, mansion map with key doors, Resident Evil 1 Remake. 
Because we've already looked around. Like, it's just a case of memory at this point. So I'm just going to bring up a fucking map that shows me where we use each key. Because that's not cheating. I'm sorry. It's just not. Okay. So uh, I need a, a decent map that helps me. That map is tiny. Holy shit. Can I zoom in on that? Hang on a minute. Visit the page. Scrolling. 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 Okay. Does this show me where any of the doors are? I don't think it shows me which door requires what key. That's all I want to know. Holy shit, you should see how complicated this map is. Good lord. Alright, no. Camping out of that one. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. I think we might have to do this ourselves. I don't think anyone's actually made... Well, probably someone has made a competent map, but I can't find one. There's like a bunch of hand-drawn maps here, which is kind of funny. What's say hand-drawn? It looks like it's been done in paint. Uh, no, these paint maps are helping. Yeah, uh, get out way. Yep, I think... I think we're just gonna have to figure it out on our own. Son of a bitch. Wait, hang on. This one looks like it would work, but it's the wrong floor of the bloody mansion. Ah, whatever. Let's just go on a magical journey. But you found the armor key, I think. Uh, you might be right. Damn if I can remember where that was, though. I think... Okay, let me, let me bring the map up. So... This one, I think, possibly was a shield key, I think. That's on the second floor. Let's try that one. It's probably helmet or just like locked from the other side or something. But I'm going to try it anyway, because uh, I have a good feeling about it. We're going to try. What up, Shadow? I think it was upstairs on the second floor. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking as well. I think it's this one. Because this is the only one, right? On the second floor on this side. At least, yeah, well... No, that's right. This one. The uh, the one to the snake attic, right? Wasn't that one a shield key? I think it was. Let's go check that one first, then. Are we equipped to take on a snake? And I haven't saved it recently. Hmm. Maybe? I probably should have brought... Yeah, I should have brought, like, some healing items or something. Well, shit. Can we burn you? No. I don't think so. Wouldn't surprise me if after we take on the snake, he's a zombie when we come out here. Don't remember that being the case, but I also wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, this was the only place. Okay. Well, we figured it out, everyone. Oh, now I'm scared. Uh, I really kind of feel like we should go to the trouble of saving. Because if we die here, we got to do, like, we got to play the Moonlit Sonata again. We got to mess around with the emblems. I'm actually just going to make a detour and go save. I think that's the smart, pertinent thing to do. It won't take long. The save point is like just around a couple of rooms and downstairs, so. Yeah. I think we should do that. Because honestly, I can't remember how tough the snake is. I think it takes quite a beating to kill it, and I think it hits bloody hard. And we don't even have a single healing item on us. If we had like a first aid spray or something, I'd feel a lot more confident, you know? Because it would allow us a couple of mistakes. But for all I know, this thing might two shot me. So. I don't want to deal with that. So straight ahead, next door, and then down the stairs. We should probably take our gun out, our handgun, in case there are zombies here. So we will have to fight a zombie noodle. Yes, basically. Whoops. Did not think it equipped. Seems to be safe here for now. I'm glad we. Uh, I'm glad we found that. So that's the only place you can use that key. Interesting. I did know, yeah, I was thinking that. Like, I, I didn't remember seeing any other doors that said shield key. But then my brain's like mixing shield and armor together. And we still have the armor key. Uh, okay, so let's get rid of these for now. I think if we are going to be fighting the snake, I think this is where you fight the snake. We should take those extra grenade rounds because they'll destroy it. We'll take a first aid spray and then we'll save. And that should be absolutely fine. Should be absolutely fine. Let's also equip these so that we, if we use them up, we'll have some inventory space. Yes. That seems good to me. It's an old tap rat. It sure is. 
I wonder if you'll have to use typewriters in the Resident Evil 2 remake. I wonder if they've, uh, if anyone's know, like, because I think they've had it playable, right? At, like, some conventions or something? I don't wonder. I don't know. I feel like they probably will. How do you save in Resident Evil 7? I know there are save rooms. Oh, isn't it like, um, like an old tape recorder or something? I think it's like unlimited, yeah, it's unlimited saves, I think. But you have to, you have to have a save room and it's a, like a tape recorder. So they might do something like that, there might just be no ink ribbons, maybe? I don't know. Who bloody knows? Alright, back we go. We're just through here, yeah, we're close, we're close. I think that was worth the detour. I actually don't think we'll die, but like, just in case, you know? We've only died once so far, I think. Or was it twice? A dog definitely mauled me to death. That was the one in the main hall where I saved it beforehand. And I was like, hey, dog's going to attack us. I don't remember us dying apart from that. And frankly, I don't count that one because uh, I did that intentionally. Apart from the death part. Yeah, this looks like a place a snake would hang out. I want you, but I don't know if we should take you right now. It's probably... Oh, shit! It's the Cobra Kai! Oh. Run away! That's me! Okay, okay, yeah, it's fine. Ah, you dickhole! What the hell, man? Oh, man, okay, we're poisoned, alright. I thought we were almost dead, but no, it's just poison. Bitch. He's done. His goose is cooked. So we are going to need that serum, I think. Otherwise, we die after a while or something. Hey, there's the other mask. So we need one more mask. So wherever the hell we use this armor key the final time, it's probably going to get us the last mask that we need. And that's probably what we're going to need to progress. So we've got to figure out where this last door is, either way. Uh, let's grab these shotgun shells. I don't know what my health is like, but we should, uh... We should go cure that poison. Uh, let's check the map. Yes, we have everything in the room. Fantastic. Alright. That went quite well. I do think the snake comes back later, but don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. Because I honestly don't remember. Poisoned serum. I have some Jill. Just wait a minute, bitch. Jill, I wonder if that's Barry with his Barry gun and clearly Barry's boots and MC Hammer Barry pants. Couldn't possibly be Barry. Yeah, I think the snake comes back. Because, like, we didn't kill it, right? Like, it would be a bit anticlimactic if we never get to kill the thing. Barry? But I don't remember it coming back. Barry? Gary. This music. It's like some Final Fantasy... Like, save crystal music or something. It's great. I love it. All right, let's put the mask away. So we have we have one mask in place. We've got two more, right? Let me do, let me let me count to make sure we actually do have two masks in this chest. Oh man, our inventory's getting spread out. Okay. Yes, we got two. I'm assuming my health is okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're good. Thank you, Barry. You saved me. Have we been to the save room before? I had an ink ribbon, but damn it, I don't. Stab it. Trying to look at the thing on the wall. A well-used bed. Several kinds of serums. Yeah, this was the, the room we were in, right? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm guessing maybe one of these two doors, then, is going to be where we use the key? That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Because we never really explored this part of the mansion, did we? We came over here quickly to get the serum, and then we left. Do we want to waste another ink ribbon right now? Probably not. I'm going to take the shotgun back out. Out on a moment. Where's the, where's the bloody shotgun? There you are. Inventory management, the game. Probably should equip something. You are back for a little bit. Welcome back, Tony. I hope this stream actually works for you now. 
Tori ain't here. Alright. I'm gonna be burning this, man. I think we still have one more fuel left. Because if this is a save room, we're probably gonna come back here a few times. Oh, it's the regular save room music now. Boo! And yes, I heard that man squelching upstairs. They squelch. That's what they do. Burn, baby, burn. Just go and burn her. That ass doll. She has no ass, by the way. Like, none whatsoever. I know you're upstairs. I don't think we explored downstairs. Hang on. Is there anything over here? Wooden boxes covered in blood stamps. Sounds like a regular zombie. I don't think he's a crimson head. There's nothing but cleaning products. It smells faintly unpleasant. Yeah, they usually do. You use the lockpick. Sure, let's have a look. Oh, I know what this door is. This is the corridor with the fat dude. You know the bald guy? He's like right at my feet right now. Nope, this is somewhere else entirely. Ignore me. Oh, hey, a thing. Fill that shit. You refilled your fuel. Ink ribbon? Sure, I'll take it. Uh, actually, hang on. Before we take that, let's make sure there's nothing else in the room. There's a ladder. I don't think we can use the ladder. No, it doesn't look like it. We don't need that. That's that's for that room with the thing, you know? Oh, hey, what's this? The battery pack. Wait, what? Wait. I have a stun gun? Really? I didn't know that. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing it's just the broken shotgun, the battery pack, and the ink ribbons in here. So let's just leave the shotgun. We could take it, you know, like come back and take it because the save room's right next to us. Just so the room doesn't appear red on the map, it might be a good idea to make it less confusing, probably. Yeah, let's do that, actually, because it, it will end up being like, oh, we're missing something, and then come back all the way here and be like, oh, it was the broken shotgun. So just to stop future Jason being confused, let's just get the broken shotgun now. We'll never use it because we already, you know, got the shotgun. But we'll just shove it in the chest. And then never look at it again. Uh, I'm gonna keep these on me because I do want to burn the fellas upstairs once I've murdered them. Just hope we don't have to deal with Leon. Uh, not in this game, you don't know. Leon did, Leon did not exist until the second game. Same with Claire. Uh, don't know about Resident Evil Zero. I think they're new protagonists in that game. I don't know. Arr, arr. Gimme, gimme. Will you take the broken shotgun? You have taken the broken shotgun. Will you insert the broken shotgun into your storage chest and never look at it again? Yes. Yes, I shall. You have inserted the broken shotgun into the storage chest and will never look at it again. That's how the dialogue in this game goes. It's pretty good. Okay. Let's go mark the zombies upstairs and burn the bastards. Who is Ashley? Is that the little girl that you have to babysit in Resident Evil 2? Where she's like, you play- Don't you play as her at some point and you have to like, dodge around zombies? I think. Like in a sewer or something. Alright buddy, who's up first for a death? Who's up for a marking? Oh, well they were in his head. Guess I don't need to burn him. Works for me. Uh, Alright, let's try these doors. It's locked! An emblem of a helmet! Oh hey, Zumble. You unlocked it. This is the one, I think, that leads around to, uh, what's his face? Take that, demon! And now you burn. We're gonna burn you both. Actually, no, we're not gonna burn you both. I forgot, you don't have a head. He's fine. Let's go see if I'm right. This should be the room with the mirrors and the fat dude, the balding fat dude, like, uh, at my feet. Oh, in four is Ashley. Which is the... Oh, it's Sherry Birkin. That's right, in four. He's gone. I think he was here. Are you a crimson head now? Buddy. Oh, I'm pretty freaking sure he is. You know what? I'm just gonna let him do his thing. If he's crimson heading around there, I don't have to deal with that. Be my guest. Be my guest. Map. So, this is a sh helmet door, right? Yes, yeah, a helmet, not shelmet. Shelmet is a Pokemon. 
downstairs is where we need to go, I think. I actually feel like downstairs is where we have to use the blue gem. I'm sure you have to use the blue gem on... It's like a tiger head and you need the blue and the red gem, something like that. Let's put away the, the kerosene and the... What? Well, I should really fill up the kerosene, shouldn't I? But I'm not going to. I'm not going to go back to that shotgun room just to do that. I'm not going to save it yet either. Because I'm a man who lives life on the edge. For no apparent reason. Because we have a lot of save ribbons. But it just feels wrong to be saving every five minutes when you have a limited supply of them. It just feels wrong. So we unlock the one on the right. That was the thing with... The okay, so what about this one? Is this where we use the blasted key? Fucking finally. Thank you. All right, we got rid of it. So we're, we are keyless. We use the sword key, we use the shield key, and we've used the armor key. There is a helmet key, we know that. There's another battery pack. Oh, I remember this room. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. One of those rooms where things break in, isn't it? I think this room right here. I think this... I think this is where you have to use the gems. I don't know why I remember this, this section of the map so specifically. Fucking is, isn't it? Yep. There's an inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Blue and yellow? Oh, it was a red gem in the original. Have they changed it? Those scumbags. Okay, well, we could put the blue one here, but we don't have the yellow one, so we may as well wait. May as well wait. But yeah, that's why we do it. Stuff. Gimme, gimme. You know, the zombies had a nervous system that could... Be disabled with electricity. Well, now you do. I guess it makes sense to a degree, because, you know, zombies, like, their brain works? K kind of? Maybe it short circuits their brain long enough that they're like, Oh, not hungry anymore. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm making shit up. Where the hell am I now? This is... Yep, this is the corridor next to the main hall where we burn the zombie, and then, like, up and on the left was the moonlit sonata room with the piano. That's where that is. So that's a shortcut. What about this door? Did I go in here? No, we haven't even used this door. Don't you open that trap door? Is there something down there? Hello, sir. He is dead as hell. Gimme, gimme. At least for now, you know. Door is stuck on something and won't budge. Oh. That seems a little too obvious that that's a zombie. Clothes and various bits of junk are scattered everywhere. But you know what? I'll try it. No, it's actually a fucking zombie. Oh, the other guy's up now. You dick. You notice how they make this guy kind of squishy and he goes down quickly? Because if he didn't, you'd be guaranteed to be hit in this tiny area. Ah, you bastard. Zap him. Take that, demon! Oh, I fucking killed him. Well, suck on that! And you know what? Another free battery pack. I like how suddenly we're just finding battery packs everywhere. I didn't find any for a while. Keep his diary. Oh, is this the itchy tasty thing? Hang on. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security. Who wants to walk with Scott and Elias? By the way, if you've ever heard itchy tasty reference, like, for example, there's a Binding of Isaac item, right? And it... The description is itchy tasty. It's a reference to, I think, this diary. Or at least a diary in this game. Might not be this one, but I think it's this one. Anyway. In fact, yes, it's definitely this one. Play Book of Night with Scott and Elias from Security and Steve from Research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating, scumbag. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before I actually started eating. Gross. And around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. Scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there had been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on the holidays. I've been wearing the damn space suit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Dick. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet. They were quiet all day, which is weird. 
Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th. Fever gone but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. Yes, he's uh, regressed quite a bit here. May 21st. Itchy, itchy Scott came. Ugly face to killed him. Tasty. And then itchy, tasty. Yep. That's, that's, that's why that is a famous quote from this game. Because it's fucking creepy and also kind of funny. At the same time. How is the door still stuck? Cup is full of high. Okay. Liquor. I always remember that one, like, it's one of the few, like, bits of, um, I was gonna say dialogue, it's not really dialogue, but you know what I mean, like, one of the few bits of, like, written text in this game that even after I played it as a kid, I remember that one specifically. And there's just something very memorable about it, the whole, like, you know, he was assigned to look after the dogs, he didn't feed them, he ended up eating the dog food, and then he killed an Annette Scott, and then just ends with itchy tasty. It's funny, I like it. Wait a minute, can we pick up booty here? No. I think we already did, didn't we? Is this a door? What? This corridor so bloody dark. No, it's not a door. Don't attack me now. Okay. Appreciate it. All right, so either way, this area is going to lead us to the final mask, I do believe. And then we can go finally do that thing with the coffin. What the hell is going on here? Lid on this water pump is open. Pump the water. Why not, right? Which way will you... Uh, let's figure out what we're doing first. Uh, this is probably going to need the herbicide. Oh, shit. Let's go get the herbicide. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, snake. I wonder when they come in. Because I know they do at some point. You will never see something tapping on a window in a Resident Evil game and not have it jump through the window at some point. It just won't happen. Maybe it's after we kill the plant, or maybe when we have the herbicide in our inventory. Like, I'm wondering what triggers it. I don't know. It might also be when we have the, uh, the yellow gem for the tiger eye. Okay. Uh, oh, there it is. Fantastic. Uh, I'm trying to think if we should bring anything else. Probably fine. I can refill the kerosene on the way past, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, no, yeah we're we'll just going like this. I don't know how we're supposed to pump it, though, because it's like, it's got two directions. I have no idea what that means. But I think we probably just, yeah, I guess we just chuck the herbicide into the, uh, the open thing, and then we just pump it over the best. Bum, 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 bum. By the way, for those who don't know, the Resident Evil 2 remake comes out in January, so very soon. And I know Fallout 76 comes out this month, isn't it? The 13th or something that 76 comes out? That's pretty close as well. Alright. So we're checking that in there. Fantastic. So now, how do we pump it? I don't know. Uh, turn the switch red or green? Red? Yeah, it seemed to be good. Take that, demon! Japan. Just can't stay away from the tentacles, can they? It was already being pumped. Yes, the pump in the water. Can I turn it green? What does green do? I just killed the green herbs, haven't I? You motherfuckers! No! No! Oh, come on! Alright, whatever. Hey, we found the mask. I could reload, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'll just accept that. We've got a lot of healing stuff. If we didn't, maybe I'd think about it, but we're fine. What a dick move, though. I don't know if it was a thing. Why would that be a thing? Why would that be a thing? I guess you can kind of see the wires on the floor or whatever they are. The, the pipes. Ah, fuck off. 
I'm not dealing with you. I guess you can kind of see them on the floor. Sort of, you know, where they're going. Oh, I don't know. I feel ripped off. Alright, now I think we should probably say... Yeah. Yeah, we should save it. We also need the masks. Grab the other two masks. Because we already put the first one in. And I'm going to assume we're going to get the final key from this coffin. That seems probably right. We have shotgun shells. In case we have a fight. Seems good to me. Whoa, camera. Whoa. Whoa. Is this my eighth save? Yes, it is. You know what? I think it's acceptable. I think eight saves is acceptable. How many wing rumors do we have? We have ten. That's quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to take... A <laughs> eh, no, I don't think we'll need the hub. We might. And maybe I'll regret this, but we just saved it, so... F it. And here's the question. How the bloody hell do we get back outside? There was at least two ways there. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Look at the map. Oh, can we do it from the map? I think we could do it from the main hall. Let's try that. That is definitely outside, but that is not the outside that we want. Well, not my intention. Holy crap! Now, Demon, I'm stuck! Oh. I'm not killing you, it's a waste of ammo. Go, 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 go. Get to the chopper, go now. Now. Fantastic. I don't think we... No, we do. Never mind. I was gonna say, I don't think we need to go back to that section of the map. Uh, no, we totally do, because we need to do the, uh, the tiger eye thing. I am lying. Dirty Russian liar. Alright, this should take us to where we need to go, I think. Yes. Okay, cool. I remembered. Now, I know this coffin thing is new to this version of the game. In the original Resident Evil 1, there was no masks, there was no coffin. No, no, shit. I don't really remember what happens here. But I have an inkling. Oh, I have an inkling. And that inkling makes me want to equip my shotgun. I like the way she goes downstairs. She looks funny. Uh, the eye is okay. Yes. Boop. Certainly seems to be working. And you are know everything, and the other guys know knows. You are know everything. What? Oh, you're okay. Go on. And then. Hello? Coming. Oh, hey, shotgun shells. Oh, damn. It's blatantly a crimson head. Oh my god, he looks like... Looks like the, the groundskeeper or something. It's groundskeeper Willy! Oh, no! Willy back! Holy shit, Willy! Ah! He's so quick. He's dead. Good lord. Of course you had to get one hit in, you bastard. Anyway, give me those shells. Bum, 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 snake. Alright, so I think the key's in the coffin, right? And I remember one place. Is one in the main hall. Oh, what? What? Oh. Wait, where the fuck did we get the other one? Because I know where we use this. It's the, um, the basement in the main hall. Where's the other one? Oh shit. That's a problem. It's not... Wait, no, 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 never mind, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Because, if you remember, there was a place that said those who... Something, something, the mask, coffin, whatever the hell... Will open up the way. Some bollocks like that, so... 
I'm wrong. This isn't for the basement. It's for the other thing. The problem is, I now can't remember where the other thing was. Uh, I think it was on the left side of the mansion somewhere, like past the main hall. I don't bloody remember. Also, we do, oh, well, it says we're fine. I mean, we, we clearly are not full health, but it says we're fine. So, okay, let's look at the map. Maybe we can figure out from the map. There's obviously going to be a locked door. Err. Uh, this doesn't help me at all. Third floor, basement one? No. Oh, shit. Where was it? Oh, wait. Is it this? I think it's this, right? Because this looks... Yeah, I think it was this sort of shape. I'm guessing it's that. So it's, it's not at all where I think it is. So it's the first floor, and then up and all around. Oh, God, okay. We've got a long ways to go. But I think that's it. It looks right. I wonder if he becomes a Crimson Head eventually. Like, I wonder if they have to... Do you know what I mean? Like, I wonder if they have to die first, or if I just leave him alive long enough. I say alive, you know undead if he'll just become a crimson head or if he has to be down first i don't know we can be a murder i really hope i'm going the right way i think i am it's always creepy that when the camera does that zoom in on her face just weirds me out man Okay, so it should be through here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Really hope this is the right place. If so, I'm relatively pleased with, uh, with my memory. You know. Compared to normal. Wait, what? Yeah, yes! I think this is it. I mean, it looks like a, a gate that will go to the outside, so... Yes, okay, fantastic. I actually remembered slash at least used the map. Not looking at the thing properly, goddammit. Hooray! Progressu. It still looks like those emblems, though, that we'd like. It's almost the exact same shape as the emblems that we need to get into the basement. Or, I say basement, whatever the hell that is. Okay, I see a first aid, I see shotgun shells. This makes me happy, but we need, like, a key or something. The key has to be here, surely. Isn't this like a trap door or something? Am I wrong about that? No, I'm right. I'll take the battery pack. It doesn't really take space. Uh, it might be a good idea actually to grab the, the first aid spray whilst we're here. Because we do have some inventory space for once. And we did take that hit from Groundskeeper Willy. Maybe we should take that. I'm also just going back inside because I didn't check the room thoroughly. And also, I think there's another door here as well, which I think you need to open somehow? Maybe? Is it like, um... No, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, can we open this yet? And have we cleared the room? We have cleared the room. Can we open you? Yes, we can. Okay. We've got two ways to go now. I don't know which one we should go down first. I hear an enemy, so this one seems bad. It's a doggy! Fuck it! Oh god, there's so many of them! Oh fucking hell! Ah! Kill it! Run away! Oh hey look! A blue hub. You know what that means. First of all, we're going to take it and combine it with the green hub. Because I don't think you can use the blue hub on its own. I'm pretty sure it has to be combined. So this will heal us a bit and cure poison. So we're going to hold on to that. Uh, we don't need to use the first aid spray yet because they fully heal you and we're on caution. But next time we get here, we probably should do it. So what the crap is going on out here then? Is this an elevator? Yes, I think so. I can't do anything with that at the moment. This puppy. No point intended. What the hell? 
I think I remember this part. Isn't this like a massive open, like, area? So it goes downhill? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, well, maybe I'm wrong. Guess we need a crank for that? Yes, we need a crank. Classic Resident Evil crank. Uh, and then we could probably get down there. So we can't do anything here. Okay, cool. But for now, this is a dead end. We can be a murder. I think it's just a sound effect. Sound effect. I don't think there's actually a dog here. No, I think we're good. You're just trying to creep me out. Let's try the other door that was in this room. Yeah, phone. What are you doing? I'm playing one-handed. Because I'm just that good. Now! I don't know if it's worth using the shotgun shells on the dogs, but they're such a pain in the ass. And even there, it takes a couple of shots. Oh, this is the area that goes down here that I was thinking of. Okay. There seems to be some kind of signpost. Each direction is accompanied by a corresponding destination. Well, yes. North is the Valley of Destruction. South is the Cave of Hatred. East is the Summit of Madness, and West is the... <laughs> <laughs> West is the path of revenge. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Like, who names places like that? There's a switch. Sure, why not? Press the switch. There is a Cerberus statue that is rotated by me pressing the switch. should be doing with that. So maybe we just leave that for now. Can I push this one as well? Of course I can. Okay. I get it. Their eyes are color-coded to the color of the the weather vane or whatever this is. Uh, doesn't really help me. I'm guessing we... Oh, okay. Maybe they just have to face each other to open this gate or something. The gate will open when the guard dog's desires are fulfilled. How do I know your desires? Do I examine you? Ah, oh, of course. Statue with red eyes. The inscription reads, The War Cry of Revenge. So you have to be pointed towards the path of revenge, or whatever it was called. So Red McGee has to face revenge. Revenge is which direction? Let's have a look. The last one, right? Yeah, west. Okay. So we've got to point the red one west. Pointing east. Okay, now it's pointing west. Seems good. Wait, did I do the other one accidentally? I think I did. Because I made a click, right? Are you open now? Yes, okay. Works for me! Half the work. Gross. Why do you have to be gross? Are they going to attack me? They look like they want to attack me. Leave me alone. Fuck off. Okay. Ah, you crow bastard. Why would you do this? Where is it? Where are you? Come back. I don't know where you are. That's it. It's crow murder in time. Bitch! Ah! I made a horrible mistake. This is why you don't fuck with crows, man. Too many of them, and they're impossible. What? He survived that? Jesus Christ! Bitch! Bitch! For being alive. Ah! Demon! What? Take that! <laughs> the splat that thing made. <laughs> it was Hitchhawk when you need him. Park the Raven. Yo, fucking die, man. No, the guns are reloaded. Ah! There's still two of them. What's my health like? Not great. Not great. Oh god. Where'd he go? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
go over here. We can see them better. Kind of. I think we won. Jesus, that's why you leave the crows alone. It's just not worth it. Okay, so what's going on with this? Oh, this is where we need the symbols, like the wind and what have you. There's some car... There's something carved into the indentation. Two vertical lines, a cross, and three horizontal lines. Could it be some kind of symbol? Symbolism. Something written on the indentation. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine in the heavens. We have the wind crest. That's probably where we're supposed to use it. Uh, I'm just going to use... The, well, yeah, fuck, I'm use it now. Uh, I'm hoping there's like a chest around here somewhere. Is this where I came from? Not where I came from. No. No, it's not. Scary. Scary, but mostly annoying. Oh, what was that noise? Well, that was, oh, I think I know what that noise was. I think that's also another thing that's only in this version of the game. Was that me? Yeah, that's me, okay. That's me walking. You never know, man. Could be a zombie. This path splits here, right? This looks like we can go this way. No, we cannot. All right. Never mind. Never mind. Hello? Hello? This is a long freaking path. Good God. It keeps going. Wait a minute. Surely there's something hidden behind this tree. Really? Not even a green herb. Yep, okay, yep, yep. This is the cabin I was thinking of. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh, hey, herbs. Uh, yeah, we'll take them now. We'll take them now. I think there is a storage chest in here. I think. Which is handy, because again, we need the, the wind crest. You don't want to combine herbs too often, because again, you want some... Because, you know, you can only combine, like, one green with a red, for example. And, uh... You can combine a blue with a green, or a blue with a red and a green. But not a blue with, like, two greens, for example, I don't think. But maybe you can, actually. Well, I think you couldn't resist with two... I can't remember. A faint light shines through the crack. Maybe it's a sign of life. Or maybe it's a sign of death. Oh! Let's go in the death cabin. This seems like fun. Death cabin! Really hope I'm right. I really hope there is a save room. The firewood looks fresh. Or at least a chest. Sometimes there are chests without save rooms. A number of bandages have been hung up. Could these brown stains be blood? Yes. Yes, they could. What do you think? You're surrounded by death and zombies everywhere. What do you bloody think? There's a typewriter. Family picture. Oh dear. I don't think I was supposed to look at this yet. <clears throat> death cabin is how you call your garden shed for no specific reason, I swear. Yeah, I believe you. What was that? I didn't read that. It's a journal left by someone. Daddy! Attached first mom. Attached second. Sconed. Whatever. Inside red and slimy. White and hard. Not true mom. Where? Dunno dad found mum again. When attached mommy, she move no more. She's screaming why I just want to be with her. Mom, where? I miss you. That's fucking depressing. All right, a crude bed. Looks like no one's used it in a long time. We should use it. We should use the bed. We don't have any... Ah, oh, thank you. Okay. Put you away. Put you away as well. Actually, we might need you, but uh, we can save it here. So, F it. Get the wind crisp. And let's get our safe ribbons, because... Oh, yeah, we want to save right now. Let me tell you that. Probably should... Well... From here, you've got a good view of the entrance to the cabin. Oh, well, that's good. That's that's good to know. I'm going to save. Even though there's probably more stuff to pick up in here, I'm going to save right bloody now. I call this death cabin for a reason. Trust me. Save successfully. Yeah. Put that shit back in there. We got the crest. Fantastic. What the hell? What the hell? That was utterly confusing. Hey, look, everyone. It's the crank that we need. Let's go back. I'm sure we'll be absolutely fine. I'm sure nothing will attempt to attack me. What's that? A noise. 
Oh shit, something's attempting to attack- am I dead? Oh, okay. What the hell? What? I don't remember that. Just frickin' clobbered me. Whacked the shit out of me. So this is a woman. And they have a name. I think it's Lisa, but don't quote me on that. Oh god, I'm stuck in the corner. Hey. Can you- are you unable to, uh... Oh no, you can go upstairs. Uh, I don't think you can kill this thing. Pretty sure it's bloody immune to death. However, well, we might be able to down it. Take that, you fickle bitch. Oh god. I'm around the corner. Come on, Lisa, or whatever your name is. Oh Jesus! Back, demon. Yo, it's doing nothing to the demon. Never mind. Demon is down. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't think Demon stays down. I think Demon gets back up. Oh, yeah, Demon gets back up. Alright, we're, 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 we're leaving. Bye. Oh, God, camera, don't fuck me like that. Where's the exit? Go, 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 go. No, I don't think it chases you through here. Uh, you learn some backstory about this character. It's actually quite sad and what have you and what have you. But uh, for now, we shotgun the fuck out of it and we're going to run away. And we know what we need to do. We need to use the wing crest, we need to use the crank. So that's lovely. But yeah, I think for now she's going to leave us alone. But uh, spoilers, she will show back up. Just like Snake Buddy probably will show back up. I can't guarantee that, but I know she does. I hear a zombie. Wait a minute. Have I gone around in a circle? I have, haven't I? Am I going back up? Yeah, I went back to the cabin. How is my sense of direction so bad? God, that's confusing. Anyway, I heard a zombie, as I was saying. Where you at, zombie buddy? No, oh, you're right over there. Where did you come from? Hmm? Why are you just chilling here? I'm gonna get past you and just, like, save some ammo. I'd appreciate that. He's quite slow moving. If we, like, bay him over to the right, we might be able to get around the left. Or we'll get grabbed, and it will be a complete waste of time. Ha-ha! Oh, gross! They can spit. I don't know that. That's just nasty. That's just nasty. Bum 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 snake. Okay. Let's try the wind crest thing first, because I'm pretty sure it's just outside this door, isn't it? We might need the other cresty things as well, because like I said, I'm pretty sure it's like wind, fire, earth, water, but it might not be. Either way, this one mentioned wind. What do you do? Hmm? Oh, you give me the other ones. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take them. Uh, I'm gonna wish it. Yeah. You gotta go in a certain order, haven't they? My assumption is on the back is probably gonna indicate. So we got two vertical, a plus, and three horizontal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Examine. I knew it. You go in first. No, no. Put the thing in the thing. What do you- what do you mean you can't use it as it is? Do I have to examine it for- hang on, let's examine it. And like, click on it. Oh, they're buttons! Oh, you bastards. Ah, okay, so now we can put this in. Swish. Then we need the plus. You are the plus. There's the button. I will press the button. The base is protruding in the shape of a cross. No, stop examining it. I'm the greatest puzzle solver of all time. Are you kidding me? I'm such a genius. Who could possibly figure this out but me? 200 IQ. Oh my god, come on. Every time I click it, uh, again, when I don't want to. Uh, please don't attack me. Oh my god, is that a fucking magnum? Looks like Barry's gun. I will take Barry's gun. A gun has been placed neatly. Give it to me. Will you take the Magnum Revolver? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Hey, do you want the, one of the most powerful handguns ever made? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Thank you. Cool, so that was just for a Magnum. Interesting. Interesting that was completely optional. We had to get the Wind Crest to even be able to do that. I hear zombies, I think. 
No, we're here running water. That's completely different. Uh, so where do we need the crank? Was this... Hang on, where did we need the crank? Oh, we needed the crank a ways back, didn't we? I think? Yeah, it was out the other door, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Wow, yeah, that is a ways back. Let me go all the way back up here. Yeah, controls. The controls are really sticky when you get to the point of the camera angle changing, because it does that thing where... You have to... Say, for example, say you're... you're say if here, for example, I want to press, like, down and to the right, yeah? But then if the camera changes angle completely you still have to hold down to the right to run in a straight line you don't change your controls with the camera which i get what they're going for they want that to be convenient like for example here when the camera changes i still have to hold like down instead of changing to up but your brain doesn't tell you that your brain's like oh now i need to press up so you do that and then you end up running like it just changes the direction you go in like yeah yeah it's confusing that's the only contention i have with the uh the stationary like camera angles is that it's just confusing really when you do a transition like which bloody direction to push apart from that doesn't really bother me usually like you get the odd occasion where you do get fucked by the camera but i think for the most part it happens surprisingly little. like i say you can usually hear them coming or they'll have like that trick in the corridor with the mirrors etc but yeah it's, it's more just that, that exactly like, i just ran around the circle like that drives me nuts they're cranking, baby. Man, if only she had an ass, this would be way more erotic right now. This seems dangerous. Why is there a cutscene? Cutscenes in Resident Evil games usually indicate death. Look at those graphics. Next gen. You hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. I don't know what that means, but sure. I'm scared to go down here. Something gonna jump out the water at me. Hmm. Like poisonous snakes. No? Okay. Alright. I'm sure there are poisonous snakes around here. Now that I mention it. I think that's why they gave you that blue herb earlier. Either way, so far so good. Is this not gonna take us to where the... Where we saw the elevator before? Or is this somewhere else? No, this is somewhere else. Hey, crows! And hey, look, blue herbs! Don't attack me this time. I swear to God. You f asshole! Oh, he's dead. Ah, no! So tempted to pull out the magnum. Oh, God. The splat sound they make is worth it. I dodged him. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. You fucking wreck crows. Oh, there's more crows. God damn it. Are these ones aggroed? Where are they? Oh, yep, 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 yep. He's aggroed. Where'd he go? Where'd you go, crow bunny? Where'd you go? I want to pick up the hub. Some kind of transparent creature is swinging around in the water. Excuse me? What? Some kind of... That's definitely what it said. Really? I don't see it. Okay, that's weird. Uh, we need a battery for this. Battery's been taken out, yep. That's how we power that one. A transparent creature. Alright then. Alright then. We are running out of space. A raging waterfall, yes. Looks like there's something about it. There's a door behind that. I don't remember how we turn the waterfall off. Probably can't do that yet. Makes sense to me. The red herb, sure. Let's combine these puppies. You take the red herb, which is actually more orange in the inventory. Yes, yes I shall. I heard a dog, but you never know if that's just, like, ambient no Oh, there's the snakes! That's just ambient noise. No, demons! Run, 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 run. Oh, wait, is this where I think it is? Is this... Is this... 
Is this one? I think it is. Oh, I think it is. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. That explains all the blue, uh, blue hubs. Oh, we don't want to be here. I mean, we do, because, like, we have to, but we don't want to be here. Uh, I'm going to take my shotgun out for a second. Well, camera. Don't do me dirty like that. The music's changed. Pesticide spray for flowers it appears to be empty. Well, there's more blue herbs there we can go back and get. And there's a crate there, which we need for a specific reason I do remember. Yes, you see there's a crack in the floor there. I'll show you. Bloody hell! Fucking criminy, man. Ah, I'm just trying to get the crate. Asshole. Well, that was a waste of life, but uh, I did want to show you. That's why you need the crate. You could block the hole in the floor. Tentacles be dicks in Japanese games, yo. Where did he pop out? Right in front of me, right? I think we want it over this one. Because there's two holes there. Clearly, clearly, I'm really sure it came from the one in front. Let's hope so. Alright, that should stop it. Then we can climb over the crate uh, to get around the corridor. Uh, one of these is probably a save room. Let's have a look. We do have a, uh, a full heal, essentially, by way of the green, blue, and red herb combined. And poison cure. Hey, I found the save room. Aren't I the greatest? Didn't know this was it. I was just guessing. It is usually the first room you come to, like, in a corridor. Because they're, you know, they're like, oh, well, you're probably going to click on that one first. Makes sense. We should refill our kerosene whilst we're here. So let's take a regular green herb. Let's heal up with that. We'll put the crank away for now because I don't think we need it at the moment. We'll put the magnum away as well, just because I don't want to waste it. Uh, and then we'll grab... Yeah, hang on. Hang on a moment. We'll fill this bad boy up. Put that back away. Yeah. Let's grab the crap in here. See what I mean, though? Like, even though we pesticided the crap out of those green herbs earlier, we still have quite a lot of healing stuff. Even though I feel like I've been beating the shit out of in this game, but... Hey, we're on normal mode. You die pretty quick on hard. I know that. Like, pretty goddamn fast. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, have I looted everything in the room? Yes. Yeah. We shall save. Progress you. I think we saved for a while. It was like, yeah, it was the cabin. Well, I guess the cabin wasn't that long ago. But we did the Magnum thing since then, and blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's realistically been a while, even though we haven't made that much ground. But we've done some stuff. I hope the crate stays in place, but I can't remember if it does or not. It might reset. No, it, it stayed. Cool. It's locked. The door plate reads 001, so we need a key for 001. I think. Obviously, we will be going back to the mansion proper at some point. Yeah, if you got arachnophobia, uh, you may want to, like, back the fuck out of here. You're a spoopy giant tarantulas of death. I forgot that there... Wait a minute. Okay. I forgot that there was one right there. I think... Don't they explode into babies or something? Ah, shit, I think they do. Oh god, yeah, okay. Well, also... I think you can get poisoned by their blood or something. And, you know, them biting you. Hey, look, a pretty lady on a poster. A red oil lamp. It's not lit. Fam. Okay, so I think we know we need to do this. Let's go get the, uh, the thing. Hello, Sir T-Bone. Thank you for the subscription, by the way. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, I think you did that after the stream, maybe? Yeah, 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 because I think you did it, like, yesterday, and I didn't stream yesterday. Either way, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, let's go get the lighter. Because otherwise, I will forget. <laughs> yeah, the spiders are creepily realistic in this game. Uh, yes. No, no, yes. Yes. 
Yeah, this sort of game is. I, I love this type of game. I love. I love the. This is why I like Grimrock so much. If you like the puzzles and things in Resident Evil, I do recommend Legend of Grimrock, specifically Legend of Grimrock Two. It was very Resident Evil y in in that sort of way. To a degree. The Red Island. I actually made a. Um, I don't want to spoil too much about it, but I made a very small mansion level in my Strange Silhouette hovers in the reddish light. It looks like an eye. Could it have some kind of meaning? I mean, probably, yes. Um, anyway. Oh, cheap, disgusting one. Yeah, I made a, a very small mansion level in my Grimrock 2 mod that is inspired by Resident Evil. Uh, even to the point where, like, the whole tiger eye thing I got going on, and, like, it gives you a key, and you do all these things, and there's, like, secret buttons, and they, yeah. Wait a minute. There is a spooder over there. Did you see that? See him over there? Look at him. Thinks I don't know. An advertisement for an arm wrestling contest. The winner will be named Chief for a day of the Raccoon Police Department. Wow, Chief for a day. Is that... Are those shotgun shells, or is that a battery? That is a shotgun shell. Well... More spider killing stuff. A green oil lamp. Gee, I wonder what we should do with that. Also, the eyeball symbol. I'm guessing it's so the spider's like right above me, isn't he? Is he not gonna like bandage with blood? Is he not gonna attack me when I take this stuff? Run away! Oh, he's upstairs. That's right. Hang on. Let's go up here. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Oh, he's over there. Take that, demon. He'll be along in a moment to avenge himself. But in the meantime... So you see above the eyeball here, there's like these little eyelash thingies. There were three on the other one. This one's got two. So I'm guessing that's the, the clue. By the way, dead ass doll. That's my kind of poster. There's a lot of half-naked bitches on posters here. The guitar case, it's empty. Damn. Some billiard balls. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. Something to do with the numbers of the eyelashes or something? It's your birthday. Oh, shit. Happy birthday, Agam. You're, I'm going to spend money. You're, I'm going to spend money. What you going to spend money on? I hope you have a good day, dude. Uh, two, three, okay. So two, three, four, five, six. There doesn't seem to be anything significant about the order, but... But what? I hear Spooder Man moving around. Where are you at, Spider? Hey, buddy. Hey, that demon! Alright, he's dead. He's dead as hell. Uh, so we still have a green hub to pick up. Let me check this one. So this one was three. There was two. That's got like, four, actually. There's a, there's a little lashy thing below it. So two, four. I don't know if the order matters. Probably not, actually, because it specifically said that when we examined the balls, right? It was like, oh, the order doesn't matter. Wink, 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 wink. The two, four... Zero, I guess? Lamp shines with reddish light. Two, four, zero? Maybe? I'm going to write that down. We might need that number. Zero. Two. Oh, my God. Two, four. Why did I put a space in there? Don't do that. That's weird. Okay. Let's hope that works. Hey, wish Agam a happy birthday, you scumbags in chat. Bum, bum, bum. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. First of all, I don't know why this is a thing in this game, but you get these first aid kits, and it's just always... Well, actually, maybe they have more than just first aid sprays in them. Oh, I was wrong. Herb mix. Uh, okay. I'll take it back. It's so weird, though. Examine. I don't know why they don't just give you the thing. I don't know why they make you open the thing to get the thing. Book with a red cover. Nothing is printed on any of the pages. Is there a special way to use it? I mean, probably. Probably. Maybe we can print it somehow? Do we... Hang on. Do I use the book on these things? I doubt it. No. Like I say, I doubt it. You're 21. Nice. You can legally drink in America now. Now you can get wasted every day of your life. A huge pile of barrels. Or a pile of huge barrels. Take your pick. 
Uh, okay, so I, don't, I guess we we use this knowledge somewhere else. Wait, there's a green herb there. How do I keep not picking up this green herb? Oh, actually, I think I purposely avoided that. Because we only have one more space. Err... You know, there's anything else up here. Wait a minute. This guitar is the thing from the thing, you know? This is the guitar from the guitar case, but we can't examine it. Anyway, I'm just going up there to look at the poster. I'll be honest. Let's go grab the green herb and get out of this room. I'm going to go visit the save room again to store some stuff. The demand is almost 30. I am 30 fucking 2. But we don't speak of it. If anyone asks, I'm 25. I think I can pull it off because I don't go outside so my skin doesn't really age that much. That's my thought process. Anyway. You're kind of Bambi. Yeah, you're Bambi. I cried when Bambi's mother got shot. I'm not kidding. I was really young when that movie came out. You gotta remember, like... Actually, I think... Ba isn't the original Bambi, like, old as shit? Didn't it come out in, like, 1950? Am I wrong? Hang on. Let me look this up. Bambi. 1942. Yeah, so whenever it got re-released in, like, the 80s or the 90s or something, I saw it. And Jesus. I cried. Like, that was my first real experience with, oh, hey, son, life is shit. And I was like, oh, damn. Life is shit. That fucked me up. I also died in, uh... Well, I didn't die in... No, that doesn't make sense. I cried watching, uh... A movie starring Macaulay Culkin called My Girl, which was about him, as a child, because he was very young at the time, falling in love with his girl, hence My Girl. That really wasn't the important part. The important part was that his character had, like, all of these things he was allergic to, uh, like chocolate, I think, and, like, bee stings was one of them. And he ended up getting fucking stung to death by, like, a gazillion bees. And then, like, there's a funeral scene where he's laying there, not because he wears glasses as well, because he's got, like, everything wrong with him. You know, like, asthma, he's blind as shit, etc., etc. And there's this part where he's, like, it's his funeral, and he's, like, lying in the open coffin, and the girl that he was, like, for, you know, he's, like, his little girlfriend thing. And, they're, again, they're really young, like, really fucking young. And she, she's like, she starts freaking out, and she's like, No! He needs his glasses! He can't see without his glasses! And I was like, oh my god. I am too young for this shit. I am too young for this hardcore shit. That fucked me up. Those two movies fucked me up for life. Never been the same since. So you can blame my goal for why I'm dead inside. The door plate reads gallery. Oh, good for the gallery. I can't go there, though. 002. I hear, uh, moths, I think. So that's clearly Barry talking to someone, but we can't really hear who the other someone is or really what they're saying. Oh, I can go in the room. That seems like a bad idea. Let's do it. The first time you cried was the Iron Giant. I actually don't think I've seen the Iron Giant. Jill. You are the master of unlocking. Heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Me too. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. A little bit, Baz. A little bit. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry. I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Waste some monsters. <laughs> Joe has really full lips. Have you noticed that? Yeah, that's in lips. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its roots. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. 
Do you remember the uh, the plant that we killed in the fountain? I'm pretty sure that was part of Plant 42. So, uh, yeah. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. Oh, I remember the aqua ring. Oh, that's kind of terrifying. Uh, that's actually like a really scary part of the game. There is a huge possibility that it's one of the chemicals, because, you know, water. Uh, chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42... Uh, has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the egg ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous lo it's such like odd odd English. Blah blah blah. First floor. We are sure it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. No, it just sounds awkward. Numerous long tentacle like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When Plant Forty Two senses prey, it uses the tentacle like vines to capture its prey. So I mean, they keep saying tentacle like vines as well. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. Blood baby chicker. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twist twine, rather, around the door to stop possible intruders. Man, this is long. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveals its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves that way? Uh, the way it does is still unknown. Henry Sarton. Thanks, Henry. So basically, uh, when it opens up, shoot it. That's what I'm telling you. All new newspapers and magazines lie on the top of the bed. Some appear to have been vomited... To, some appear to have a vomited blood on some of the newspapers. Or someone appears to have. That's gross. There's nothing special. Oh, excuse me, there's a cowboy hat. Don't fucking lie to me. That's pretty special. Dude, what is this? Uh, it's nothing. Okay, cool. <gasps> I found something. There's a latch. Fuck yeah. Hit me. Am I scared yet? No! Uh, I'm not scared of moths, despite the fact that people seem to think I am. But they just creep me out, man. I don't like it. I also don't know where the shit I'm going. I'm just kind of... Oh, isn't this a push block? Yeah, there's like three crates and you gotta make a path. I think it's, like, really simple. I think you just literally push them. Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure that's all there is to it. Deep water and sea creatures is what actually creeps me out. Slash gives me a mild panic attack. There's nothing here quite like Subnautica, though, so we'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, the Aqua Ring did make me uncomfortable when I played through this. The Aqua Ring, I don't think it was a thing in the original, uh, Resident Evil. But boy, it's a thing in this. I don't like it. Bum, 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 bum. You don't quite know why this is a thing here. It's like, you just, you just push them all in a row and then I think it's fine, so... It's not even really a puzzle, it's just like busy work. This is this is an odd choice from a game design standpoint. Like, why would you even have the player do this? I don't know. Seems kind of redundant. There we go, there's our path. I think we did go past the door that we haven't checked, but I'm gonna go this way first. Because I want to make sure the path stays there. I don't want it to like reset or something. I don't think it will, but just in case. Guess if I go through this door, it will register. Hey, the path is there. Don't reset the blocks or something. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go right back out because this is deep water territory, and I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Don't like it. Don't want to be there. No, thank you. No, thank you. I would say it's one of the things that's like kind of good about Resident Evil is you may notice that pretty much whatever your phobia is, they got they've got it. You know, they got snakes. Bollocks. I guess we gotta go this way. Fuck. Uh, they got snakes. They got spiders. They got deep water. They got things in the deep water. They got fucking zombies. I don't know why anyone would be scared of zombies, but you, you get my point. Like crows, maybe there's people scared. Like, you got like dogs. They got everything. Everything. Okay, there's nothing here at the moment, I don't think. No, I could be wrong about that. I don't really remember. She's not pointing a gun at anything, which is a good sign. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like it. 
Ah, fucking hell. <laughs> ah, shit. Can I kill them? Oh my god, they do so much damage. I have a green herb, okay. There's so many! There's so many! Ron Jill. Holy fucking shit! Am I safe up here? I don't feel safe. Power room. Uh, cool. Go, 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 go. I'm freaking out right now, you don't understand. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I am about to die and I don't know when I saved it. Shit. That's also what I'm freaking out about is that I don't know when I saved it. I'm dead. I'm dead as hell. Joe, you gotta go. You don't understand. Okay, we escaped the room. That's a good stop. You fucking kidding me? Uh. Uh. We can't go there yet. We gotta kill that plant. And I'm pretty sure we can't shoot it in case you're wondering. Uh, go this way. Oh, fuck me. Where do I go? Did they even die? Certainly doesn't seem like it, does it? How do I escape? Does anyone know if the shocks can die or am I just wasting my ammo? <gasps> they can die. Okay. We have to kill them. We don't have a choice. We will die. We are one hit from death. I'm pretty sure. It was a big shock this way. I don't know if we want to go this way. That's a big shock. Go the other way. Shit. Ooh, fuck me. Go, 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 go. Why is this a thing? Why is this a game mechanic? I don't know when we saved it, dude. I don't know when we saved it. I have no idea when we fucking saved it. I don't think it was that long ago, but at the same time, still. Fuck. That sucks, man. That really sucks. So why, why did they let me go in that room? There was, there was nothing good in there. There was just death. There was just death. All right, did we save it after we got the book from that spider room? Because if so, we haven't done that much since then. I think we basically just like heard the conversation between Barry and What's-His-Face. Let's have a look see if we have the book. I bet we don't. Holy don't do I. I gotta do that room with the spiders again. Holy shit. This seems like a good place to end the stream so I can do this off camera so you don't have to watch me do it again. So, uh, yeah, I was gonna end soon anyway, so... We'll call it slightly early so I can just redo this. Anyway, thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. You can kill the big shark as well. Oh, good. Yeah, I guess well, we'll have to deal with that at some point. But right now, I don't think we even need to go there. Because it doesn't seem like we could do anything in that room at the moment. So it just seemed like terrifying death. Sharks freak me out. Anyway, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to this month's patrons who are as follows. We have Dr. Papa Penguin. Rohan Dani. Shadow Sephiroth 666, Jeremy Burris, Philip Rep, Luna Parker, Vincent Clark, Waffle Boar, George Blackwell, Black Wolf 8994, Billy Nying Xer, Miss Justice 83, Hitbox, Nuria H, and Pedro Marquez, and I'm losing my voice. Thank you. Like four to five point blank shotgun hits. But the big shot's scary. I don't want to fight the big shot, it scares me. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, I'll redo the stuff off camera and get back to where we were, and then I'll come back and save it, and blah, 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 so you don't have to rewatch it. 
but uh, I had fun. Like I say, tomorrow we'll probably do some Red Dead Redemption 2. Here are all of my links, Discord, etc, etc. Thank you for all the support. I will see you tomorrow, most likely. Good night, everybody, and goodbye.